Amber Brown is Not a Crown by Paula Danziger. Chapter 6. I'm halfway through a worksheet on fractions when Justin walks into class. I'm so glad not only that he's back, but that he can help me to understand what to do with something to the sixth and two-thirds. He sits down at his desk. I hand him the box of wooden fraction pieces. Welcome back. He smiles and then looks over at my worksheet. The answer is four. Mr. Cohen comes over, hands him a worksheet and says, welcome back, how's it going? Read page 46 to yourself. Page 47. It would have been nice if Justin had given me a new pencil, too. Finished with his math, Justin picks up my paper and checks it out. He finds two mistakes, shows me how to do it correctly, and then helps me finish up. Fractions are not my favorite thing. In fact, they are one of my least favorite things. The only things I hate more are, one, Brussels sprouts. Two, watching kids pick their noses and eat the snot. And three, having people I love leave. Mr. Cohen flicks the lights off and on. Take a minute to finish the problem you're working on and raise your hand if you want me to come over and explain anything. You can finish this up for homework. People finish up. Since, G Since Justin and I are already done, we play tic-tac-toe. I win. Read the next page to yourself. I'm sure that he's not going to tell them everything, and there will be some stuff that he'll just tell me. Justin begins, we left very early on Saturday morning. He's wearing a brand new sweatshirt, one that says... Alabama. Personally, I don't like the sweatshirt. I wish he had on a sweatshirt that I know. He continues, the airplane trip was really fun. Before the plane took off, the flight attendant let me go up front and see the cockpit and meet the pilot. They gave me, th they gave me wings to wear. Read this page on your own. And they found one that they all liked. They picked it out the first day. I thought buying a house was supposed to take a long, long time. Justin tells us how big the house is, how he and Danny are going to have their own rooms, how his mom said that he could put up baseball player wallpaper in his room, and how there was a special area in the backyard with a basketball hoop. Any other kids there? Hannah asks. Brandy gives Hannah's arm a shove. What's that for? Hannah rubs her arm as if she'd been run over by a bulldozer. I just asked a simple question. Brandy looks over at me. I stare ahead as if nothing's bothering me. To prove that I'm not upset, I repeat Hannah's question. Are other kids there? Justin nods. Lots. Next door, the family has five kids, two old enough to babysit for Danny, one my age, John, they call him Junior, and one Danny's age, Jim Bob. Read the rest of page 52. Justin keeps blabbing on. I keep waiting for him to mention the very important thing that he that his new school and neighborhood doesn't have. Me. But he never does. Questions. The first one, why was Amber Brown sad that Justin told the whole class about his trip to Alabama? The next question, what were some of the details Justin told the class about Alabama? 
You need to go back in the text and find this information if you want to. It says some. That means I need to at least have three. At least three details that Justin told the class about Alabama. And the last question, how does Amber Brown feel after Justin tells the whole class about his trip to Alabama? Would you have similar feelings to hers if your best friend did that? Two sentences there. 